Okay, so I'm doing this uh, YouTube piece. I want to talk about a new um, prosthetic system that I'm wearing. It's called an EMS socket system, which stands for Environmentally Managed System. And I just want to do this piece today because uh, I lost my leg um, about 19 years ago. I was in a serious uh, forklift accident and I lost my right leg below my knee. And I've worn many different prosthetic systems over the years and this uh, EMS socket system is by far the best system I've ever experienced. It's unbelievable and um, it's definitely improved the quality of my life. So I want to, you know, talk about the system and I'm going to do some demonstration of it. First I just want to give you a little background. Um, as I said it was about 19 years ago I lost my leg and uh, the first eight years I was on uh, pin system prosthetics and I'd gone to uh, like three different prosthetists during that time and they all put me on the pin system and I had a lot of issues uh, with that type of system. I had um, uh, pain, pain issues. I could only walk for a certain distance before I'd have pain. I'd have to unlock the leg, lift my leg out a little bit to relieve the pressure. I could only sit with my leg bent for a certain period of time before I would just you know, have so much pain. I'd have to unlock it, lift the leg out of the socket. And then when I started to walk again, I'd have to lock it back in to, um, you know, to get going. Uh, same thing in the car. I couldn't really leave the leg on in the car for any length of time for a long drive because of the pain. So I had, you know, the issues with pain with the pin system. Uh, I also had um, a lot of uh, limb shrinkage. So I, you know, my limb would be a certain volume in the morning, but then because of the positive pressure of the pin system, my leg would shrink. Then I'd have to add more socks to make it fit right again. Um, and when it sh then when it shrank again, it was kind of a, a vicious cycle. You add more socks, but every time you, the limb would shrink, I'd sink in my socket. I wasn't really balanced when I was walking, uh, which created some issues with my, with my lower back. Um, but that was a sort of a constant process throughout the day too. The limb shrinkage, um, uh, the pain issues. And then when I took the, the leg off at night, the liner, I had a lot of moisture buildup. I would just, between my leg and the liner, it would just be soaking wet at night. And uh, the other big issue was skin breakdowns. I had a lot of skin breakdowns, so much so that in that uh, eight year period, I had to have two additional surgeries to excise wounds because the skin broke down so much, the tissue got bad, so I had to have those two surgeries. So there was um, a lot of periods where I was actually off my leg more than I was on it, just trying to heal these wounds. And when I would get a wound, I would go into the prosthetist and they would carve out an area in the socket where I was getting the wound to try to relieve pressure there. The problem was that would create pressure in other areas and then I'd get wounds in another area. So anyway, I was on the pin system for eight years, had, had these issues. And um, I read an article um, in 2004 uh, in the Chicago Tribune about Ron Sano. Ron Sano was a Hall of Fame baseball player with the Chicago Cubs and then an announcer for many years and uh, Ron was a double amputee and uh, he, I had read in this article he had a lot of the same issues I had with the pin system and he went to um, a prosthetist uh, named Ray McKinney and Ray McKinney was, is uh, an expert in elevated vacuum technology and to make a long story short um, Ray fit Ron and Ron had such great results with the elevated vacuum that uh, Ron Sano, Ray McKinney and another gentleman John McDonough uh, opened up McKinney Prosthetics in Gurney, Illinois. Now at that time I was living in Illinois so I went to, um, to McKinney Prosthetics and you know I talked to Ray, kind of told him the history that I had with the with the pin system and so he made me um, uh, a leg it was an elevated vacuum system it was uh, the harmony system at that time is what I got and for the first time in my life I could actually put the leg on in the morning leave it on all day and not have any pain I had um, it was unbelievable to be able to do that uh, I would uh, could could walk you know as long as I wanted I could sit you know, with my leg bent for long periods of time. I could, you know, drive in the car with, with the leg on. 
Um, I just, I had no issues with pain anymore. Um, the other thing was I didn't get any more limb shrinkage. I would put the leg on in the morning, leave it on all day. My limb would never shrink. I never had to take it off, put on socks. Matter of fact, I, I didn't wear socks anymore. I just put on one small thin sheath. So it eliminated the, the issues with pain. It eliminated the limb shrinkage. Um, and then the, the moisture, I still had some moisture buildup between the liner and my leg at that time, but it was greatly reduced from the, um, uh, from the uh, pin system. And uh, the big thing for me though is I didn't have any more wounds. I've been um, on elevated vacuum now for 10 years and I've never had any more issues with wounds. I've never been off my leg in that 10 years. And uh, I started with, with the Harmony system, which is a mechanical pump that creates the vacuum. And then uh, a few years later, uh, McKinney Prosthetics came up with um, an electric motor uh, that created the elevated vacuum. The, the Harmony system was a, a mechanical pump. It was, you know, kind of large and a, a, a little bulky, a little heavy. Uh, then when they came, went to the uh, electric motor, it was just a small little motor. So it, the prosthetic became much lighter and it was actually a better walk. And that's the same uh, type of system I have with this leg is, is the electric motor. So anyway, to get to the EMS now, I was, I was very content, you know, for the past 10 years wearing the eleva elevated vacuum system that I had. Um, but then, um, you know, they talked me into uh, trying this new EMS system. This EMS socket, which I'm going to show you and demonstrate, was uh, invented um, and developed by uh, Carl Caspers from Minnesota. And um, uh, there's very few prosthetists right now who um, are doing the EMS system. They don't, you know, there's, I think, maybe 16, uh, you know, worldwide. And uh, you really have to have an expertise in elevated vacuum um, before you can even, you know, uh, be able to fit the EMS system correctly. It's a different casting system, and you really have to have some experience and expertise in elevated vacuum before doing this. Um, but anyway, uh, Ray McKinney uh, and his crew kind of talked me into uh, going with this um, EMS socket. And as I said, I was a little hesitant because I was so happy with what I had but I decided to, um, you know, to try it because I, I trusted their judgment. And it was the best decision I ever made. This, this system is unbelievable. And it, um, the EMS stands for Environmentally Managed System. And I'm going to show it to you now. So this is the EMS socket. right here. As you can see, it's very, uh, very flexible, um, very pliable. And even the, the shell, the socket shell that it goes into is also very pliable, very flexible, as you can bend that. Most sockets, you know, at least most sockets that I've had in the past were hard, but this is, uh, this shell is, um, flexible and then of course the EMS is very flexible. Um, it's very easy to put on. You, first you have this uh, liner that goes over your leg and then you put one small thin sheath over that and then this the EMS socket which is casted to your leg or, you know, the cast is made, and it's, it's a different casting, you know, technique uh, than your, um, the standard cast that you've probably had made uh, for your leg. And then this small thin sheath goes over that. Then you put, your leg goes in the socket. I, I just stand up to do it. You can sit down. And you pull this over. And then there's a, a small button in, inside here and hit the button and now the uh, electric motor is creating the, um, the vacuum. And it's about 30 seconds that I um, 
allow the motor to create the vacuum, then it will stop, and then I'm good to go for the rest of the day. I just, I never touch the leg again. I leave it on all day. Um, and just like with the other elevated vacuum I had, there was no limb shrinkage. All I, used, all I wear is those two, th two small thin sheaths that you saw me put on. I don't have to touch this the rest of the day. I go all day, take the leg off at night when I go to bed. Um, I don't have any pain. I mean, I can walk forever. I can run. Um, you know, it, it just it fits like a glove. I mean, because with the elevated vacuum, you're dealing with negative pressure um, or anti-pressure, if you will, as opposed to the pin system, which is positive pressure. So it, it just fits like a glove. Um, I don't have any issues with pain. Uh, I don't have issues with limb shrinkage. There's no movement up and down in the socket. And the other great thing about this is when I take my leg off at night, it's dry. It's eliminated the moisture buildup. When I take that liner off, um, my leg has no moisture buildup. The only time I'll get a little is if I'm exercising vigorously. You know, I might get some little beads of sweat, you know, it, on my leg. But other than that, if I'm just going all day, um, I'll take this leg off at night, it'll, it'll be dry. And also there's no skin breakdowns, just like with the, the previous elevated vacuum. Um, so basically, the, all the issues I had with the pin system prosthetics are avoided um, with the elevated vacuum system and in particular with this EMS system. Uh, the issues with pain, movement up and down in the socket, um, uh, skin breakdowns, uh, limb shrinkage and moisture buildup are, we don't even, you don't even have to deal with that because this system eliminates those issues, at least in my experience. What has made this so, so good for me, um, this EMS socket, is it's given me, um, beyond what I just mentioned, it, it's also given me uh, added stability and range of motion. If, if you notice, with the EMS socket, the EMS socket comes up here and grips you here, whereas most sockets are going to come right around here. You don't have that support here. The EMS is supporting me right here. So I have, and, it, and it, it shapes, bends with my leg. So when you bend your leg, there's no, in the past, before I had elevated vacuum, if I would bend my leg, I could put a finger in here in between the socket and my leg. But there's, it's totally conformed to your leg. It bends with your leg. And so, if I go to the gym, I mean, I can do squats and I can get, you know, all the way down. And as you notice here, once again, it's the EMS socket bends with your leg and it just gives you incredible stability. So I can just get all the way down and have total, total range of motion, total stability. Even with, with weights, I can um, hold, you know, have pretty heavy weight for myself anyway and do squats like that. The other thing is, I mean, just to kind of demonstrate the added stability, is I can step up with my, with my prosthesis and, you know, very easily just lift myself up on this chair. And it's great for, you know, for anyone, but especially for patients who are elderly, who, who need more stability. Um, I think this would be a great system. I mean. It's not hard to take off and put on, and beyond the issues I mentioned, you know, the fact that there's no pain, there's no limb shrinkage, um, there's no moisture buildup, um, just the added stability that you're going to get from this and range of motion, it's going to be great for anyone, but especially elderly people who need more stability. So, say someone's on the ground, you know, say you're falling down, it's just so easy to get up with this. As, as opposed to, um, you know, a, a different prosthetic just because of the, you know, the added stability that you have right here. So, the, um, as I said, the EMS system was created by Carl Caspers in Minnesota. I know he has a website. I think it's emssocket.com. I know that uh, McKinney Prosthetics in Gurney, Illinois is the only a prosthetic company in the Chicagoland area that currently um, has the EMS system, is offering the EMS system, and uh, has the expertise to fit it. If you live in just over the border in the 
uh, Milwaukee area. I know Paramount Prosthetics in Mount Pleasant in Milwaukee, Wisconsin uh, have the EMS system. And I believe that um, Paramount Prosthetics and McKinney Prosthetics are the only prosthetic companies that can do the um, EMS for above knee. But um, the um, EMS system will work for above knee amputees very well. I met someone who uh, was fitted through Paramount Prosthetics who had an above knee EMS system and uh, was having great, great results with it. Um, but I know for the anyone with below knee, um, for me it's been by far the best uh, prosthetic system I've ever experienced. So in the, in the notes below, I'll, you can look and I'll have the information for um, for Paramount and McKinney Prosthetics where I know you can get this. Otherwise, you might want to check out Carl Casper's website and uh, he may be able to help you find, you know, someone in your area if, if you live far away. So thank you. That's it.